Hello and welcome to the Meta YouTube channel and to this video on how I keep track of my favorite YouTube videos where I'll be sharing with you some of the process in how I keep track of my favorite YouTube videos utilizing a program I have made in AutoHotkey that is shared in the video description below that you can go ahead and download for yourself to utilize in the exact same way that I delineate in this video here today. That being said, let's take a look at what this program actually does. So when you open the program, you will have this prompt with two buttons that enables you to select a favorite file. When you select that favorites file, that gets written into an ini file in the same directory as the program is currently located. That just keeps track of the current file that you have selected. What this program actually does is that it writes clicks on your current mouse position, it then left clicks on the YouTube metadata, and it does a regular expression match in order to digitally slice out, like a surgeon, the relevant information from the YouTube metadata, which is the title of the video and the link to the video in this case. It then does a file append to your current favorites file with the current date and time watched and listened to and favorited this title with this link and in addition the comments that you have written out on the program when you did save that video. So this is a very helpful way to be able to save in Obsidian, instead of saving on YouTube your favorites, because you can manipulate the data in Obsidian in much greater ways than you could if you were to save your favorite YouTube videos in playlists on YouTube, for example. So what I do is that I open YouTube, let's say I watch this video, and I want to append, I'll just bring up this. Uh, it Remember to have your mouse cursor over the video. You then press append and it then copied. And this is the first line. This is the second line with the link. And this is the third line with the title. Genius. Any comments that you want to add. Comment. And you can do tags and you can do links, of course. Okay. And then you can press Alt F10 if you have several videos at once. Video number two with comments, tags and links. Okay. And for the third example, I want to do a split view where you can see this is the first one, the amazing flagellum comments, tags, and links. And this is the second example. Does anyone care about male loneliness? Video number two with comments, tags, and links. And this is the third example. Append. There we go. The third example tagged and fully, of course, linked. There we go, third example, fully tagged and link. And as you can see, I've done in the past a couple of ones where I have lots of comments and that is very helpful. So it's very useful for me in the way that my mind works to utilize this program in order to automate this process of favoriting YouTube videos because it enables me to get the big picture and the technical details, as I've delineated here, in better ways, in more holistic, in more big picture ways to understand and to deal with data, to deal with processing, to deal with consciousness in more direct ways, in more fluid ways, in more systemic ways. And that's the reason that I made the program in the first place. 
With that being said, I have another pro tip that I want to add to this program in terms of subnesting notes in Obsidian. Because you see the, pro the plugin in Obsidian called Periodic Notes is linked to hotkey F9 on my keyboard. And this is the 2022 December monthly note. And this is my favorite YouTube videos of December 2022 note. This is the superset with the F9 hotkey. And this is the subset, which is appended within this note. So this is my periodic notes, monthly notes. And I just merely did the exclamation mark and the link, internal link to the favorites YouTube file. And that is such a helpful way to just know that if I want to get to the favorites YouTube file of this month, I can just press F9 anytime in Obsidian in order to fully like jump between everything here. So that being said, with this being shown, I hope that this was useful and that my guide on how I keep track of my favorite YouTube videos has been useful and that if there are any comments, criticisms or praise that you leave them in the comments below. With that being said, I thank you for spending your time with me today on this YouTube video and that you have a rest, good rest of your week. Take care and see you next time. Bye.